Hello, dear students. Today we shall learn the concept fractional indices and solve sums of exercise three, unit number six, given on page number 13 of textbook Mathematics A, student book two, endorsed by Pearson and Excel International GCSE 9 to 1 board. Let us start. Question number one, exercise three, 25 power one by two. As you know, 25 is equal to five times five. And we can write the power one by two as well. So here, five times five becomes five squared, power one by two. And we know the rule of indices, a power n whole power m equals a power n times n, right? So we have n equal to two and m is one by two. So we can rewrite it, five power two times one upon two. This two will cancel and we get five power one or five one, okay? Question two, same way, 27. We need to uh, think of a number whose cube is equal to 27. And if we look at this, three power three, is 27 and we write here one by three as well you know that power three times three times three three times three is nine and nine times three is 27 so three times three times three is three power three so we wrote here and we again apply the same formula three power three times one by three this three will cancel and we are getting only three as our answer for question number two. Question three, 16. And as we know that 16 is two times two times two times two, power one by four. So we get here two power four, bracket one by four. Then we can write two, power four times one by four, which is two again. So this is your answer. Four cancels four. Now here, this is fraction inside the uh, bracket and the power is also fraction. So what we can do, we know we open the bracket, this power will be the power on numerator as well as on the denominator. So we can rewrite it, one power, one by two, upon four power one by two. As you know, the power of one, whatever it will be, the answer will be one because when you multiply one with one, how many times doesn't matter, the answer will be one only. And at the bottom you have four, four is equal to two power two. And again, we apply the third rule of uh, indices. We get here one upon two, power two times one by two. And these two will cancel each other, we get only one upon two, and this is your answer. Question five, nine power three by two. We know nine is equal to three times three, whole power three by two. Or we can write here three square times three by two. And Two in the denominator will cancel the numerator two, and we get here three power three, which is 27. Answer for question five. So two times four is eight, two times two is four. So these are two times two times two are the factors, prime factors of eight. So we have two times two times two over five by three. So we get here two power three times five upon three, three cancels and we get two power five, which is, which is 32. Question seven, 16 is the square of four. So we can write here four square instead of 16 and five square instead of 25. So overall power is one by two. Now we open the bracket and apply one by two power to four square and five square separately, four power two times one by two, 
whole over 5 powers 2 times 100. Now these two cancels each other and then here we got only 4 upon 5. This is our answer for question number 7. We go for question 8. We know 4 is the square of 2, so we rewrite 2 power 2 upon 3 square is 9. So we write that whole power 3 by 9. Applying the same formula like, where, like question number 7, we separate 2 and 3 squares, 2 times 1, uh, 3 by 2 upon 3 square times 3 by 2. So these two cancel and we are left with 2 power 3 upon 3 power 3. 2 power 3 is 8 and 3 power 3 is 27. This is the simplest form of fraction. So this is the answer for question 8. Question 9. 27 upon 8 whole power 2 by 3. So again we know that 27 is the cube of 3. So we write here 3 power 3 upon an 8 is a cube of 2, 2 power 3, whole power 2 by 3. So the answer, we separate that 3 and 2 cubes, 3 power 3 times 2 by 3 upon 2 power 3 times 2 by 3. As simple as the early questions, this is 3 square upon 2 square makes 9 upon 4 but this is the improper fraction, so you can convert it into the mixed number. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 is remainder, so 1 upon 4. We can write that way as well. If you uh, don't understand in a direct method, then you can check now and put 9 inside. 4 divisor. 4 times 2 is 8. Take 1 out. Uh, Subtract 8 and you get 1 remainder. Remainder will be in the numerator. And 2 is a quotient, will be whole number. And 4 is divisor, will be in the denominator. Question 10. 4, square, 4 is equal to 2 square. 2 square times 5 upon 2. Times 4 power 3 times 1 by 2. Because 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So 4 power 3 is 64. Now this 3 cancels and this 2 cancels. You got here 2 power 5 times 4 power 1. Or you can multiply them. 2 power 5 is 32 times 4. That is 128. Now question 11. This is 3 power 1 by 3 times 9 is a square of 3, so we can write that 3 times 3 power 1 by 3. Okay. Now we open the bracket and put the power of 1 by power 1 by 3 upon both 3s inside the bracket. So we get it 3 power 1 by 3 times 3 power 1 by 3 times 3 power 1 by 3. So you know that there is a First rule of indices, that one is a power m times a power n equals a power m plus n. Where the bases are same and the powers are different or powers might also be the same, p, and these bases are being multiplied, so we add their powers. So we can rewrite it 3 one time, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, okay? Here 3 power. When the denominators are same and we are adding the fractions, so we put the base, so we put the denominator once and add all the numerators. So here there 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 and this 3 cancels, you eventually get the answer 3 power 1 or 3. Okay. Hope you understand it. Question 12, 4 power 2 by 3. Now it's dividing, you know, 2 square power times 2 by 3 divided by 2 power 1 by 3. 
So we got here two times two is four. So two power four by three divided by two power one by three. As you again remember the second law of indices, this is a power m upon a power n, which gives a power m minus n. We are applying on these fractional powers. So two power four by three minus one by three. As you know that these denominators are same in fractions. So we write that three, this one way one time three and four minus one is three again. So these two threes cancel each other, two power one means answer is two. Solve four X, question 13. We can rewrite the left-hand side in, in the exponential form. So it becomes, left-hand side becomes 20 power one by three and equals 20 power X. Whenever the numbers are equal and their bases are same, this shows that their powers are also equal. So it becomes one by three is equal to X. This is your answer. Is it not easy? Question 14, three power X equals three power one by two whole power five. Why did I write this three power one by two? Because you know that whenever there is a radical and inside there is a number, so we can say that this is principal square root. If there is a number inside the square root and there is nothing written over here, it means this is two. And it becomes, when it, we take it outside, it becomes three power one by two. But if it is three power uh, square root, if it is in cube root, so we can write there three power one by three. And here you got this three power one by two. This is equal three power five upon two. As you know, three power X is equal to three power five upon two and three, both numbers are equal. So their powers are also equal. So X is equal to five by two. This is your answer. Hope you understand the exercise. If you like the video, press like and share it with your friends. Do subscribe if you have not subscribed it yet. And do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.